news of Miami Beach mansion that defines a critical era in South Florida history will soon be demolished. The pink mansion, once owned by Colombian kingpin Pablo Escobar, it's coming down tomorrow. And local 10 news reporter Glenna Milberg was able to take a last look inside. Glenna. Oh, Lori, Calvin, what these walls inside there hold, we find out not only figuratively, but literally. The owner is actually taking it down, as you mentioned, starting tomorrow morning. They want to build bigger and they want to build better, but this house no doubt belongs to a very dark but transformative part of history in this community. The head of the DA in the, in the 80s showed me. What is all this? $13 million in cash. Even before the top drug agents in the country got in touch, Christian Boudoir heard from neighbors secret drug cartel operations that Pablo Escobar operated from his flamingo pink spread on the bay. They were using a, a residential neighborhood, which is very quiet and very, you know, upscale, in order to conduct their business, you know, mostly on the water. Escobar, one of history's most notorious and ruthless Colombian drug lords, bought the house in 1980. Here's the deed on paper, $10, but Escobar paid 760,000 in cash, reportedly at closing. What was happening in that era is that Miami was one of the best places to wash your money. Filmmaker Billy Corbin's Cocaine Cowboys chronicled Escobar and the cartel business that put Miami on the vice map. The DA came in in 87, they seized this, uh, this house, they seized Pablo Escobar's $8 million uh, condo building. Uh, by, the, by 1990, the DEA in South Florida owned probably more real estate than anybody else. Verdoir now has spent the last week with crews punching holes in walls in the floor in the yard looking for Escobar's hidden spoils. So I can break some news to you today. They actually did find something. Actually, they found two things. But what those things are and where they found them right now is a secret because it's part of a documentary they're filming. It's either money or it's gold or it's jewels or it's arms or it's drugs or it's a dead body. Okay, so how's that for a list of possibilities? We don't know what it is. We do know that somehow it's important forensically. It did go to detectives in a way. I want to point out this huge banyan tree. You may not be able to see it so much in the dark, but that actually stays dead center. They're going to try to do something around the banyan tree. Demolition begins at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you want to take another look at some of the photos we took inside today, just head over to local10.com and check out the slideshow we've put up for you. I'm Glenna Milberg in Miami Beach tonight, Local 10 News.